Well, when Ford came out with uh, the Ford Maverick in 2021, personally, I was very skeptical. I didn't understand this model. Like, why do we need a Ford Maverick when we already have a Ford Ranger? What is the purpose of this truck? And I have to say, after spending a week with the Maverick, I now kind of get it. Ford was uh, definitely right, and I was completely wrong about uh, the Maverick. So it turns out there was a gigantic market that was waiting for a truck like the Maverick because that market had nothing to choose from. There's basically no competition. There's the Ford Maverick, and then there's the Hyundai Santa Cruz, and the Ford Maverick completely destroys the Hyundai in terms of sales. This truck is so popular that you can't even buy it anymore. That means you can't order it anymore. Ford shut down the order banks for 2023 and the Ford Maverick because they can't keep up with the demand. So what's so special about this little uh, pickup from Ford? Well, like we uh, mentioned here just a second ago, it's selling itself to a market that don't really like pickups. The big ones, the regular ones, the normal F-150s, Silverados, Rams, and so on. But once a truck like the Maverick came out, all of a sudden they thought they did. You just say, you have to admit, it is absolutely genius from Ford to come out with this truck. So with it being a truck, obviously you need a bed, otherwise it's not a truck. And this bed is four and a half feet. It's only a foot smaller than a regular F-150. And the payload, meaning how much stuff you can just throw in this bed, is 1,500 pounds. Now it comes with two different engine alternatives that we'll talk more about here in just a second as well. But in this configuration that we have here today, the hybrid, it can tow 2,000 pounds. Now, if you needed to tow more, there's a different engine alternative and a different towing package alternative called the 4K, which speaks for itself. You can tow up to 4,000 pounds with a Maverick. Now, of course, I thought it'd be kind of cool to make the truck look kind of dirty because again, it is a truck and trucks are supposed to be able to handle, you know, off-road-ish settings. So, uh, you know, the Maverick is no different. You can actually get the Maverick in the Tremor package, which is Ford's uh, off-road package, kind of underneath the Raptor. So it's like a baby Raptor. You get, you know, a little lift, you get a little beefed up suspension, cooler wheels and tires and so on. It looks more off-roady-ish. Our tester right here is in front wheel drive. I mean, what kind of pickup can you find? That's front wheel drive. All pickups are either four wheel drive or rear wheel drive. So again, to a market that never really thought they needed a pickup, now you can get one. It doesn't have to be four wheel drive and it gets phenomenal gas mileage. With this being a hybrid, you get over 40 miles per gallon city driving. And on the highway, Ford says you're supposed to get up to 33 miles per gallon highway driving. I've gotten it to around 30. so. That's actually pretty true. Now, if you live in the southern states, you don't really need all-wheel drive. You can stick with the front-wheel drive option. There's not a lot of hills, there's not a lot of winters, not a lot of slippery conditions. So it's absolutely perfect. Again, Ford is marketing itself to a market that never thought they needed a pickup. So, like we said, the Maverick comes in two engine alternatives. So this is the two and a half liter naturally aspirated four cylinders. So there's no turbos or anything like that, but it does have hybrid technology. So if you don't really want a full EV, meaning an electric vehicle, hybrid is the perfect option. This truck lets you drive in full electric mode sometimes. You're not allowed to decide that on your own though. The truck decides that for you because it has a battery system that is pretty complicated, although it's, it's sort of not, but it's kind of complicated to explain, but this battery system charges itself. You don't have to plug it in or anything like that. And again, like we said earlier, it gives you phenomenal gas mileage. Now, if you want a bit more power, you want turbos, you want to be able to tow a bit more, you go with the two liter EcoBoost. That's 250 horsepower. This option right here is 162 horsepower. And then you get about a 30 more with the hybrid technology whenever it is needed. So again, it's the perfect combination for people that never thought they needed a pickup, that never thought they wanted a pickup, that definitely knew they didn't want a full-size truck, full-size pickup, the Maverick is the perfect option. So <laughs> when it comes to the looks, 
Uh, I mean, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and who really cares what I think, but I do think that this truck is extremely ugly. I mean, it's, it's the worst looking truck that Ford has ever made. But then again, I mean, that's just my opinion. Uh, you think whatever you want. Now, we're gonna jump inside the Maverick, uh, take a look at the interior, and obviously take it out on the road. Before we do that, we'll mention that this truck is available in three different trims, which is the XL, which is the base trim, starts at $23,000. And then we have an XLT, which is the mid-range trim, and then we have the Lariat, and then you can pick different packages. Like we mentioned, you can get the Tremor package and so on. But an XLT gets the cloth interior, it's an okay looking cloth interior, I have to say. Uh, the door panel, pretty cool, different design. The door handle right here, kind of separated. And, uh, you know, obvious little cup holders and so on there. You know, back seat being a miniature truck, we don't have tons of room, but, you know, if you're a shorter person, you'll fit. I would have to say it's a pretty uh, simplistic, minimalistic interior here. So we got a rotary dial shifter for the transmission. Uh, saves up a lot of space here. Cup holders, other cubbies here, places to put your phone. I like the cool orange little accents and details in the interior. Obviously normal climate control. We got heated seats, heated steering wheel. And this Maverick comes with a regular key. It's gonna start it up. See how quiet it is? Starts up in electric mode. See that it says all electric right there. So it's completely quiet until you put it in gear. Then we got different drive modes here. So if we push this button right here, it's normal, tow haul, slippery, eco mode, and then we have sport mode. We'll keep it in normal. I mean, this isn't really a performance vehicle, so uh, no need to try to be all special here. We got a little terrain here to get through. We gotta be careful because this is just front wheel drive. I don't wanna get stuck anywhere. Still driving in all electric mode. She's doing fine, suspension's doing great. Got a little mud puddle here, whee! There we go. So as you guys can see here, we're getting 29.8 during the 491 miles that I've driven this uh, little pickup here. So definitely, economical for a truck so like we said 162 horsepower plus an extra 30 <laughs> from the hybrid system so i mean it's not the quickest thing around and i don't think people buy this for it to be again a performance vehicle in any you know way shape or form uh i think people care more about you know gas mileage it's it's a small size pickup people that buy something like this probably come let if we're talking in the ford family like from a ford escape something like that or in regards to the driving i don't feel like it's all that much to to say it's a very quiet ride comfortable ride it feels like you're driving a compact car and i think that's obviously that the purpose you're supposed to feel that way when you're driving a ford maverick because that's the type of clientele that buys a ford maverick it's most likely their first pickup ever They've been used to driving like compact cars and compact SUVs and so on, and now they want a bed. Voila, the Ford Maverick, ladies and gentlemen. So for most people driving a car, you're used to the car getting better fuel economy on the highway because of just uh, lower RPMs and you're just cruising at the same speed. It's, it's not stop and go. With a hybrid, you actually get a lot better fuel economy when doing city driving, stop and go, and not driving in in uh, higher speeds. So as we come up to this red light here and uh, I get on the brake, you guys will see that um, the braking in itself is regenerative. So it actually charges the battery while you're braking. That's the cool thing with hybrids. If you don't want a full EV, they have to plug in and charge all the time and deal with you know finding charging stations, can't really go on road trips and it's just a big old hassle hybrids is uh, the way to go if you want still, you know, combustion engine, but a lot better fuel economy. So there's without a doubt going to be an explosion in the small truck segment because Ford and, you know, Hyundai way down there somewhere 
can't hold this segment on their own. Toyota is coming out with a mini truck I've heard as well, and I'm sure all the other brands will also, especially now with gas prices being so high. For people that want to pick up, they're going to want one with good gas mileage if they don't need a full-size truck. So a special thanks to Ford for lending me the Ford Maverick for a week. I was actually pleasantly surprised and yes i do stand corrected i do understand what this truck is for now <laughs> i didn't get it at all from being a you know regular truck guy who love you know big trucks loud trucks v8s horrible on gas mileage they're you know everything this truck is not i get it now i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you're in the market for a truck um, and you don't really want a big pickup this is most likely your option so let me know what you guys think in the comments below I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.